Hey guys, the purpose of this video is to make you aware of a phenomenon called rotor phasing in a distributor. A lot of people don't know about this and they're losing a lot of power because of this. Many people think, all right, set the timing, all right, it's all good, that's it, done. No, there's more than just, there's more than just timing changes when it comes to distributors. And this is what I mean. Rotor, uh, phase, rotor phasing is your relationship of when this rotor tip fires to where the relationship to it when it fires in regards to your terminal cap uh, terminal. So if it fires, say it starts firing here, then it's going to travel all this until it stops firing until the end, you know, when it's, when, I guess, the dwell time, into the dwell time. So you're losing all that. It's going to, the, the, the spark is going to, the spark is going to arc forward. So you're losing actual um, power doing, when that happens. Also, if the spark happens too late, you also lose power because the spark has to arc backwards. And let me demonstrate what I mean, how it happens here. Okay, this is a little hard to demonstrate, so please bear with me here. Let's keep this very simple. Also, one thing to realize, um, rotor phasing is very critical when it comes to nitrous, when you have to retard the timing and stuff like that, or whenever you're using a start retard, or any time, you know, boost retard for a boost. Anytime you, you mess around the timing, this is very important to get right, or else you could have a backfire inside the manifold, and or uh, what, uh, you could have your, uh, when you start it up, sometimes it kicks back in the flywheel, you could mess up your flywheel, all sorts of bad stuff. All right. I'm gonna keep this real simple. Uh, so there's a reluctant wheel on here, on the rotor, underneath the rotor, and there's a pickup here. So whenever that reluctor passes pickup, it's going to spark over here. Now, in layman's terms, let's just say there's a sensor here and there's a sensor on the rotor. Whenever those two sensors align, this is going to fire. Okay? Now, this is your terminal. Uh, terminal underneath the rotor cap underneath the distributor cap, this is your terminal. Now, if you change the timing, just the timing, you grab the cap and you just turn it, it's going to turn it in relation to the where the camshaft is. In other words, you're going to be turning that whole thing together. You, this, is, this won't turn. This whole thing with the cap. Now, once you do that, Well, it doesn't have to be in the yellow, anyway. This is your terminal underneath the, the cap. Now, once you do that, this rotor will still fire when, it, when these two sensors meet. So, when you change your timing a couple degrees back and forth, you're not, you're not messing with the, with the rotor phasing that much, or I should say at all if you're doing a couple degrees. Okay, um, say this, uh, say this starts too late, and it starts in the middle of the terminal over here. Now, in order to remedy that, they sell, for example, like MSD sells rotors that you could adjust back and forth. Now, what happens is the rotor stands still. Sorry, ah. excuse my uh, camera skills here. Now what happens here is the rotor stays still. You don't, you don't even touch the housing, nothing. You, you put that new uh, cap on and the cap has extra space here that you could just move the rotor back and forth. Only the rotor, everything else stays stationary. Now what that does, that allows you, where was I here before? I was over here. 
Now what that allows you is, you say you're just moving the rotor alone, just the rotor, when it contacts, you're gonna move it to a line. Well usually, they like the leading edge over here somewhere, they like to put it. So it's gonna start here, the spark, it's gonna go all across the terminal, end. That's how you would like, like to see that. And you can only phase this by moving this around only. Not moving the, the housing like you do when you're just timing. Remember this, this stays uh, in place with a, with, when, where the camshaft timing is. Or you could also modify this cap and just move the cap a little bit back and forth without touching the rotor. I, yeah, I've never seen anybody do that, but you could do that too. Okay, let me show you my, I have an MSD Pro Billet distributor. Also keep in mind, this is a vacuum advance. If you have vacuum, it's a different procedure in doing it that way. Please contact your uh, distributor manufacturer to see exactly how to do it in your setup. Like I said, the purpose of this video is just to show you what else you could uh, dial in in your, in your distributor. I don't know if you could see this very well. I have a MSD Pro Billet, and on my small block Chevy, the rotor turns clockwise. It turns this way. Now when I turn it upside down, the rotor turns counterclockwise. I don't know if you could see here, you see the carbon tracking? Now what happened with my rotor, the tip, when it contacted the terminal on the cap, it started halfway down the line at some instances actually this is a bad one just take a look at the majority of the ones if they look the same then that's the ones you go with as you can see here everything starts halfway down the line and I'm pretty sure if I were to test this out I would see uh, the spark start here and continue here past the terminal and arc backwards I'm losing power that way. In order to check this out, what you would normally do is you grab number one terminal here. In this case, it's over here. Drill a hole here, or cut a hole all around here. Just don't touch the terminal over here. Now, once you cut that hole, you collect the timing light to the number one spark plug wire. And this is usually best done with uh, those um, timing lights that you don't adjust the, the advance for. Now once you do that, start the motor, you're going to see a spark in here. Rev the, you know, rev it also, see where the spark goes, if it scatters, or if it arcs back, arcs forward. Then once you see that, that's bad. You would want to see the spark constantly being in contact or well, in alignment with the terminal up here. The rotor uh, tip should be in alignment with this. You're gonna, you're gonna see it. it's gonna be obvious. So when you get the, you know, you pop this off, you get that cap I was talking about, you move the cap slightly which way direction needs to go, you screw it back down, you put this back on, you do the test again with the timing light, and you, you know, you're gonna feel it, you're gonna get it, you're gonna see, you're gonna get it within the distance where it needs to be. So, this is one more thing to dial in your distributor. I hope this video helped you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.